Hey guys, today we have an HP PhotoSmart C6380 printer and I'm going to show you how to get into the service menu over here to either reset or to run tests on your printer, uh, find out different counters and reports on um, on your printer. Um, so that's, that's the goal of the video. Hopefully it helps you with your project or your maintenance on your printer. So stick with us, don't forget to like and let's get right to it. We're going to try to get into this service menu. It has the system configuration, resets, menu, special reports, and service tests. Um, and this is going to work for many uh, printer models that look like this one right here. So like I've mentioned before, this is the C6380 model. This is um, another US model is 6350. In other countries, it's it could be a 6340. Um, any C63, PhotoSmart C6300 series, and this is also going to work on um, a C62 series printers, I believe. So I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't have that printer, but it looks very similar. It is different inside. It uses different ink cartridges for C5200 uh, series or 6200, yeah, 5200 series. So, um, but let's concentrate on this. And uh, hopefully this um, helps you with your uh, resetting the printer or doing some maintenance or reports on your printer. Okay, so we have this display right here. Uh, the display right here, and this is our control panel on this printer. In order to get to the reset menu, I don't have any ink cartridges installed, so ignore this message. Um, if you have an error of some type, you can also try to reset the printer there. Um, so what you're going to do is there's this print photos button and the red eye removal button. You're going to press them together and let go. So like that. And then you're going to get the uh, enter special key combo. So the special key combo, um, I'm not sure maybe that's for something else, but for this uh, menu, you're just going to press the right button and you're going to get into that service menu. So from there, you're just going to scroll over to the right and how to use the system I, you would want to like if you skip something or you would want to press the back button and it's not going to work so if you're trying to go back you're going to press the cancel button for example I'm in resets menu now and I'm going to um, I for example I changed my mind I don't need the reset menu I press the back button it's not working so that's when you press the cancel button and you go back to resets menu and you for example you just needed a report and that's how you choose that and then um, so you choose which report you want so once again let's exit out of here these two buttons right here print photos and red eye removal buttons we're gonna press them together and don't hold them just press and let go like that then we're gonna press the right button that gets us into the service menu um, system configuration what you can do is um, you can configure that I guess different you, it's set to enter serial number and stuff like that but that's already there so I wouldn't mess with that part see I just did that mistake of pressing the back button so you're gonna press the X button to get out of there recess menus something that you may want to use so pretty much with the language um, if you had your printer, for example, you bought a printer and it's not, it's a language that you can't understand. So just follow those steps. These two, right, and then um, it's going to be like, let me just walk you through that. So if you don't understand the screen and you want to get it back to your language, for example, to English, so you're going to press this, then you're going to press right. And then you're going to press 1, 2 for resets. Then uh, the first one in the resets menu, you're going to have the country and language reset. And you're just going to press that and it resets it. And then the printer will restart and it's going to make you put in the language that you want. So that's that. Partial reset. Semi-full reset is something that works a lot of times on clearing some error messages and then it restarts. So there's three things. There's um, country language reset, partial reset, and a semi-full reset. And then if we go to, we go back, then we have special reports. 
That one has a lot of things. So it's going to be self-test, extended self-test, print quality diagnostics, print mechanism, button tap, the counter. Counter basically shows you the amount of stuff that was printed, um, the amount of pages printed on the on the printer. So self-test, extended self-test, uh, th that starts from the beginning. So those are the few things there. Then you're going to go to service tests, and there's a lot of those. There's about 10 different ones. There's scan scanner module test, test scan, um, scan motor, test carriage, test service station, test keys, which is these keys right here, uh, test LEDs, make sure all the LED buttons work, test display, which is this thing right here, um, memory card test, sensor test. Uh, there's, there's a thing that I really didn't even know about. It's a deactivate door sensor. So if you, for example, installed a continuous ink system on this printer and you don't want to just put some paper into that tab that shows you that the door is closed, you can actually deactivate that door sensor. Um, then there's some other test that I honestly am not aware of, but then there's a print head recovery. Um, PHA IDS diagnostics, ink supplies report, main PCA control panel check, front USB port test, and then it starts to going back to this. So um, those are the main things. So system configuration, resets menu, and special reports and special and service tests. Um, so that's kind of like how it goes with these printers. It's something useful. I found it useful when I needed it, when I had problems and I just was able to reset and get and clear some errors. So hopefully this works for you. Hopefully it was entertaining as well um, or something new that you found out about printers that you never knew before. Maybe you had this printer for many years. This printer is at least 10 years old um, in 2024, so 10 or 15 years old. So that's, that's the HP C6380. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and enjoy the other videos that we have out there.